Good job. Good job, kid. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 tough small characters in movies and TV. Ooh, tough guy. Oh, yeah. Is it true a cat always lands on its feet? No! That is just a rumor spread by dogs! For this list, we're looking at big and small screen characters that may be small in size, but they surely aren't when it comes to their minds, their hearts, and or their physical talents. Number 10, Hit Girl, Kick-Ass. Let's see what she can do now. By day, she's Mindy McCready. By night, she's Hit Girl. But don't let her age fool you. This tiny badass is no one's sidekick. In the universe of the comic book and the film, she and her father, Big Daddy, are the world's first superheroes. Trained by Big Daddy in weapons and martial arts, she uses these skills to save the titular character on multiple occasions, taking down everyday villains and supervillains alike. Playtime's over, kid. I never play. Unlike most superheroes, Hit Girl didn't need to be the victim of a radioactive insect bite or some terrible accident to answer her calling. All she needed was a passion for justice and an overpowering will to make the world a better place. You win. I don't want to win. I just want to make the world a better place. Number 9. Puss in Boots, The Shrek Franchise <laughs> Fear me if you dare. <laughs> As a paid assassin, the mere mention of this feline Zorro inspires fear. Originally hired by Princess Fiona's father to take care of Shrek, Puss eventually switches sides and fights for the good guys when offered the most valuable currency of all, friendship. It would be an honor to lay my life on the line for you. No. As if the sharp claws and killer bite weren't enough, he's also proficient in sword fighting and is not afraid to use that cute kitten face to get himself and his friends out of a jam. Puss uses these skills, as well as his small stature, to defend himself and his pals, whether against an army of knights, an evil fairy godmother, or a couple of murderous outlaws. I hate cats. Number 8. Mini-Me, the Austin Powers franchise. I shall call him... Mini-Me. Introduced in the second installment of this film series, Mini-Me is a clone of Dr. Evil, created for him by his minions. He is an exact replica in every way, except for one tiny feature. While he may be one-eighth the size of his human counterpart, he seems to be eight times as strong. As seen in his many hilarious fights with Austin Powers, this little guy not only packs a wallop, but can also seriously take a hit. In spite of his physical strength, He's often bullied and belittled about his size by other characters, to which he delivers his comebacks with sassy notes and middle fingers. I'm right over here! I'm meeting me! Come and get me! Number 7. Master Mantis, the Kung Fu Panda Franchise Who am I to judge a warrior based on his size? I mean, look at me! The smallest member of the Furious Five might be insecure about his size, but he often manages to use it to his advantage. Having studied under Master Shifu of the Jade Palace, he is a master of the Mantis style of Kung Fu. His small size allows him to sneak up on enemies completely undetected, and his disproportionate strength allows him to defeat opponents exponentially bigger than him. Feel the bug! While his little body may not make him seem intimidating to enemies, his friends trust him unflinchingly and never doubt his capabilities or his strength. Antenna power! Ah, it didn't work! Number 6. Yao Mulan I'm gonna hit you so hard, it'll make your ancestors dizzy. Yeah. Arguably Mulan's toughest friend, Yao is your stereotypical man's man, and he has the permanent black eye to prove it. He spits, he fights, and he is not shy about displaying his manliness. I am Yao, king of the rock, and there's nothing you girls can do about it. In the war against the Huns, Yao is the first to draw his sword and run to Mulan's, or as he first knew her, Ping's aid. While initially hurt by Mulan's deception, Yao, along with Ling and Qian Po, are the first to listen when Mulan calls on them for help. <laughs> an idea. Not only does Yao help Mulan defeat the Huns and save China, he's also tough enough to rock a dress while doing so. <laughs> Number 5. Tommy DeVito, Goodfellas hey, I wish I was big just once. <laughs> <laughs> Similar to Joe Pesci's character Nicky Santoro from Casino, DeVito is the only tough guy on this list based on a real-life person, gangster Tommy DeSimone. 
he's known for his hot temper and often leads with his aggression. What do you mean don't be like that? <laughs> While these might seem to be fitting qualities for a mobster, they often land him in trouble. When he faces off with rival gang member Billy Batts of the Gambino crime family, Batts insults him by mentioning Tommy's days growing up as a shoeshine boy. Now go home and get your f***ing shine box. Temporarily forgetting the dire repercussions that could ensue from his actions, DeVito ends up murdering the made man on impulse. Uh. <laughs> Number 4. Gimli, the Lord of the Rings franchise. Wars are natural sprinters! Very dangerous over short distances! This axe-wielding dwarf warrior is one of the characters that offers to escort Frodo Baggins to Mordor on his journey to demolish the One Ring. As a member of the Fellowship of the Ring, Gimli fights alongside Aragorn and Legolas in the War of the Ring. In a manifestation of the age-old feud between elves and dwarves, he and Legolas compete in a kill contest beginning during the Battle of Hornburg in the Two Towers and ending with Gimli coming out on top. Legolas! Two I'm on 17! Ah, I'm pointy yet I'm scoring me! Gimli is in fact the only dwarf to set aside this lasting animosity to fight in the final battle against Sauron. That still only counts as one! Number 3. Rocket Raccoon, Guardians of the Galaxy. That is true! There's no respect! That is also true! While some look down on this genetically altered creature, he is a valued member of his team, for which he fills the roles of pilot and weapons specialist. Boasting 22 previous prison breaks, he effortlessly masterminds the team's escape from a Novacore prison. You go through us! Or, more accurately, we go through you! As Groot is overwhelmed during the escape, Rocket runs unafraid into the firefight to protect his friend, and the two work together to take out an army of drones. Oh, yeah. In the fight against Ronan, he uses his weapons and his piloting skills to save many lives, and to prove those who look down upon him very wrong. Keep Ronan up there, Saul. We'll take care of the people down here. I can't believe I'm taking orders from a hamster. Number 2. Tyrion Lannister, Game of Thrones I wish I had enough poison for the whole pack of you. Played by actual dwarf Peter Dinklage, this neglected and underappreciated character is the black sheep of his family. He's looked down upon due to his size and is often referred to as the imp or the half-man. He may not be physically strong or skilled with weapons, but he's still tough in more unconventional ways. Rather than engaging in physical combat with his enemies, he fights using his wit and intelligence to overcome them. A true survivor, his most powerful weapons are a strong mind and a wicked tongue. How do I know you are who you say you are? If only I were otherwise. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Stitch, Lilo and Stitch. A deceptively cuddly shape-shifting alien. The Powerpuff Girls, the Powerpuff Girls. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup are nothing to mess with. Oh, girls, I'm back from the store. What's going on here? Ant-Man, Ant-Man. A hero as mighty as he is microscopic. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Stewie Griffin, Family Guy. Don't get in the way of this megalomaniac toddler. Victory is mine! Judy Hopps, Zootopia. A true pioneer for bunnies in law enforcement. I'm in trouble. This is Officer McCorn. We got a 1031. I got tips. Huh? Officer Hopps, I am in pursuit! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Yoda, the Star Wars franchise No, try not. Do. Or do not. There is no try. The Force is strong with him and with his long-lost relative Grogu. Throughout the franchise, it 
it's revealed that Luke Skywalker's wise mentor Yoda is not only vastly knowledgeable in the Force, but also skilled with a lightsaber. Powerful you have become, Dooku. The dark side I sense in you. With wicked lightsaber skills and force lightning powers at his disposal, Yoda's toughest quality is, ironically, his restraint. He only whips out that saber as a last resort, and acts as a conduit of the Force rather than using it as a weapon, unless absolutely necessary. He's tough physically, mentally, and spiritually. And he is the most powerful Jedi, if measured by the pound. Size matters not. Look at me. Touch me by my size, do you? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.